in my ears because they're too big, but that's what she said. Sorry, inappropriate. But, you know, just wanted you all to know that Halloween is coming. I don't go trick-or-treating. I was Minnie Mouse last year for one of my nights, and then I was a leopard the other night. Might as well recycle outfits, you know, because broke. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the Trick or Treat book tag. It was originally created by Pucks and Paperbacks, so I'll leave her link down below. And I was actually tagged by her, like, last year when she first originally created the tag. So, I'm a little behind on actually filming this, but hey, better late than never. That's what we're gonna say for this. So, so without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> the first candy is Kit Kat Bar, and you're supposed to say an anticipated release for you. So I'm going to go with Heartless by Marissa Meyer because it comes out in November, so that's very soon, so highly anticipated. I've heard a lot of like mixed reviews for it. A lot of people are saying it's not that good and it's their least favorite book by Marissa Meyers, but I'm still very excited because I just finished The Little Chronicles and I was obsessed with it. So hopefully I like Heartless, we'll see. And I also really like Alice in Wonderland, so I feel like I'm going to like it no matter what. Another? most anticipated book. Which is not really a book, but I'm very excited about it. I found out about it today, actually, from my mom, and it is the Dr. Seuss coloring book. Guys, there's a Dr. Seuss coloring book, and I need it in my life. It comes out November 1st, and I don't think anybody understands how excited I am. I am so excited. The second candy is M&M's, and you are supposed to say a very colorful book, so I am going with... I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. There's like every color of the rainbow on this thing, so I'm saying it's very colorful and therefore it qualifies for this answer. The third candy is Milky Way and you need to name a book that makes you all mushy and gooey inside and I am going with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Because, Levi, do I need to say more? I don't think so. I don't think I do. The fourth candy is Sugar Babies, which I've never had or heard of, so like is this an American thing? I don't know. But you need to name a underrated book or character, and I am going with Iko from The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Myers. Because everybody's always talking about Cinder, everybody's always talking about Scarlet and Crescent Winter, but can we just take a moment to appreciate the goddess that is Iko? She is so funny. Just, I love her so much. She makes me so happy and therefore I think she's very underrated because she always falls behind Cinder. She's like the little sidekick, but I think she should have her own like spin-off series. I would read that so fast I would read that. So Marissa Myers, if you ever watch my videos, which I know you never will, write a book just about Iko. Just call it Iko, you know? They're all called like the first name of the main character, so call it Iko. I think it would sell. The fifth, are we on five? We're gonna say five, Candy is Sour Patch Kids, and you need to name a book that started off sour but ended up sweet. I'm going with These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I don't remember specifically liking the beginning of this book. I found it kind of slow and boring, and it took me a while to get into it. But once I was into the story, I really enjoyed it, and I think I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I can't remember 100%, but I remember really liking it. And also this cover is just so pretty, so it needs to be mentioned in one of my videos, because I haven't mentioned it for a very long time. Next is Hershey's Kiss, and you need to name your favorite first kiss, and I am going with Chris and Captain Thorne. This, this is not a spoiler. Everybody knows that they're together, okay? Deal with it. If you didn't know that, now you do. I'm so sorry. Spoiler. I think they're adorable together. Personally, I would prefer Captain Thorne being, like, my man. But... I will give it to Cress because they're just so cute. She's so like adorably naive and just all the adorableness is Cress and therefore I'm okay with her macking on my boyfriend. And the last question is just your favorite book to read during Halloween time. I don't reread books so I don't really have like a favorite to read. I just like reading like spooky-ish kind of books so anything that has like serial killers or like murderers or like haunted stuff. That's my jam, but that's like my jam all the time, so really this is no different, but whatever. Alright guys, so that was the trick or treat book tag. I tag everybody to do this because fun candy. Delicious. So, do the video. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!